Hey, physical media enthusiast friends. This is gonna be another installment of D&E Rare DVDs. In my opinion, especially in Australia, the top eBayer going today if you like physical media. Let's give him a hand. Dave, that's for you. All right, I'm armed to the teeth. Sneaky Raul, Sneaky Raul has a blade, which is not a good thing. And I'm gonna open this Picaggio, and we're gonna see what's in here. Message my man Dave. If you check out his shop on eBay, D&E Rare DVDs, give him a, send him a message. He is very personable. He is a pleasure to do business with. Uh, easy going. I can't say enough good things. Do you notice a theme? I can't say enough good things about him because I've been on eBay for a while, and you know, some sellers are just cut and dry, strictly business. Dave is a personable, very nice man. And that makes shopping a pleasure. And shouldn't it be? This is well packaged, let me tell you. Well packaged. My fishing knife is nothing compared to this package, my friends. How is everybody out there? I got some stuff. Some, uh, Mr. Dan's got him a Mad Blood shirt coming. And Stevie Goffling has got some DVDs that he picked that I am sending him. He doesn't require it, but I like to, he does amazing artwork and I like to reciprocate. It certainly is not an even exchange because his artwork is priceless, but I like to do something. I don't like to ask somebody to do something for nothing. Wow, this is packaged well. Dave, you went above and beyond the call, my friend. Me and this package are just gonna keep going till one of us gives up. It ain't gonna be me. All right, let's see how, ah, now we're making some means of ingress. Ugh. How is all my physical media friends? Mr. Dan, Mr. Dan from Mr. Dan and Har, Ginger Ninja. Joseph McCall, aka Encyclopedia Joe. How's all my physical media? Uh, Joel and Laura from the Newly Deads. Joel, is especially on the physical media front, have a great conversation with him on the channel. Check that out. He's very knowledgeable. And he's into a movie called Sex Squatch. So, I mean, uh, you might want to hear what this man has to say. It'll be interesting. Nothing against Sex Squatch. Hey, Squatches need love too, man. I'm a big Squatch enthusiast, so I probably wouldn't bang one, though. Well, I wouldn't bang one. Posh would let me in. So. Okay, I'm actually getting getting some headway here. Let me tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what. This is packaged really well. But when it's rare, priceless DVDs, oh, I, I, I bet Joel Kenyon could get in this package a lot quicker. But I got a bomb alarm. I'm doing the best I can. All right, I think we're getting somewhere, guys. Well, somewhere. Hold on. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in somewhat. Partially. Yeah. All right. We did it. That was well packaged, let me tell you. Dispose of our plastics and recycle as we should. Hey. Billy Blanks, baby. King of the kickboxes. Now, you, you gonna tell me this is not gonna be a fun night? Come on, king of the kickboxers, Bubba. Check this out. And Dave always puts stuff in there so that this don't rattle around. Not everybody does that. So thank you, Mr. Dave, king of the kickboxers. All right. Ginger Ninja recently reviewed this whole franchise. I think he's done the whole franchise. Yeah. Phantasm. I had it on laser disc way back when and you know, the tall man, and it was just, it it's its own universe, and that's what I love. Love Reggie. All the characters in it. Yes, sir, Bubba. So this is the first one. I sort of, I like collections, but I like, I think I like more having single, single uh, editions. Any case, had to have this. Swamp Thing. Good, good memories. And I thought it was a, a good film. I enjoyed it. Adrian Barbo from Escape from New York. Little martial arts action there, uh, EJ. Fighting Ace. 
No, I saw this in Dave's shop and I kind of researched it a bit. It looks, from the cover to me, that looks like a very modern, but I think this is 80s. So I checked it out and had to have it. Now this, I'm gonna save the best for last. Now this is a, I believe this was a TV movie. I remember it from way, way back when. Um, you just have to see it to appreciate it. Evil Roy Slade. Maybe that should have been my nickname, Evil Raul Madblood. But I'm not evil, I'm sneaky, so. Under the Tonto Rim. Dude, a very, very... 12 Angry Men, Mr. Peter Fonda, dude. Have not seen it. Certainly know of it. I'm gonna enjoy that. All right. Now we're getting to the highlight of this to me. I couldn't believe he had this. Friday the 13th, the TV series, which, which you know, you, you don't get Jason Voorhees, folks, but this is a very, very fun, again, you know, I had I got that Tales from the Dark Side set in the previous video. And I'm thinking it was like the WB or I don't know if UHF was still, a, I think UHF was still around then. It was sort of like a, a secondary channel. It wasn't like one of the big three or any case. Uh, they often had really good shows. I, they were my favorite shows. This is amazing. I saw this in his shop and I just could not believe he had it. I C couldn't believe it. I, good fortune to have gotten it because I would think this would be gone quickly, really quickly. And it's gonna be so much memory lane to go back down and watch these. I enjoy them. And Dave, thank you for making these available, my friend, because this is good stuff. This, I mean, this is a stack of happiness. All right, everybody. I can't wait to see your guys' hauls. Mr. Dan's been having some banger hauls lately. Uh, that guy is getting some really cool stuff. I call him the master of Asian cinema because he gets all those, you know, Blu-ray kind of editions of all these great martial arts films, the Shaw Scope set and all that stuff and good stuff. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe.